My name is Derek Scott. I'm on the marketing team at Columbia Sportswear. We are in Chamonix, France for the UTMB, a 105 mile trail race around Mount Blanc. Our mission is to support Columbia Montreal athlete Amy Sproston and get her to the finish line. I guess I don't really have the resume for it. This is my first time crewing. Um, I am a runner. I was a track and field athlete for my career through college and a few years after college. And this is really important for her, being her fifth time doing this. And she's never finished the full thing. As a runner and for her career, as good as she is, finishing UTMB is really on her bucket list. So just being prepared for any emotion or any needs she has. So I guess in a crew, I'm looking for someone that is honest, realistic, and optimistic. C'est la personne qu'il vous faut pour vous amener au bout, qui m'encourage et qui me connaît aussi, donc qui sait ce que j'ai envie. It's race day, so we're doing one last final prep meeting. Two of these mm -hmm. you have to carry with you. Yeah. Then I've got some bars. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And again, I don't want you to let me nap. Okay. Don't let you nap. Don't let me nap. No sleeping. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys? Hi. How are you, How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. We're a few hours from race time and getting ready to go. We're heading to the first checkpoint, which is just shy of 19 miles into the course. And this is an important checkpoint because she'll be changing out clothing and she needs to eat. So she'll be going through the mountain passes and it'll be the coldest weather she'll see in the whole course. Uh, we're all set up. We got our food laid out. That's it. Having trouble with her stomach, and um, I think she may even have like a little bit of a bug. Yeah, you know, it's, it's What's going through her head right now is that she's completely reevaluating all of her goals. Um, she's dropped quite a bit, and for that to happen really early on, it's very tough mentally. It's just kind of crazy thinking about her now deep in the mountains for the next 10 hours. My air, the second aid station of the trip. We crossed over to the Italy border. Looks like she's picking up her pace, so this one we got to get her food and water. Um, big thing is she's got to eat. Yeah. Stomach's still hurting a little bit, but a little better spirits than last time, so she's just hiking through, staying tough. her way back I'm stoked like this is this is sick you're f***ing crushing it
so we're at the last checkpoint of the course. Amy's supposed to be here in 40 minutes. We just retraced the live feed, and she's supposed to be here in 20. So she is crushing this last section. So we got to roll. Yeah, Amy. So that was pretty rough. Um, Amy came in and she took back some orangina and some soup and it came right back out again um, as soon as she left the aid station. And she puked quite a few times. But look, she's got one more climb and that's all she's got to do. We're going to try to see Amy one last time. Um, she left the last checkpoint. Two girls really close to her. 12 miles to go. Yeah. Home stretch. It's been really interesting seeing Derek crew an ultra for the first time because I think it can be quite different. And the thing that's awesome is that he's been so into it from the beginning. I've seen Derek kind of go through the emotions of the devastation and the panic at the beginning when she's not doing well and then the extreme excitement and that's great because he's completely invested in Amy and in her race finish and he's going through the same emotions that she is in some way. She has owned this thing like this is her fifth time doing it and she owned it. She made it happen and that's an amazing thing. So props to you, Amy.